Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you another three Halloween DIY, so stay tuned. All right, you're gonna first get the Dollar Tree Carbon Pole Pumpkin, and you're gonna go ahead and just paint it white. The next thing you're gonna need is some black ribbon. You can get this from your local craft store. Also a hot glue gun. We're just gonna go ahead and glue the tip of the ribbon to the very center of the pumpkin. And we're going to go down this groove and go all the way around the pumpkin. Cut the ribbon and then go back through with your hot glue gun to glue that in place. Now these pumpkins have all different sizes of grooves, as you can see in this one. So this spacing is a lot different, so you can't go exactly all the way around. You might have to cut the ribbon into just one side of that strip. I'll show you here exactly what I'm talking about. So you're going to glue it in the center like we did before, and then we're going to go around, and instead of measuring all the way around the pumpkin, we're going to stop at the back side of it and cut that. I completed two of these guys and this one's the first one I just did. You can see right here um, there is an exposed area where the two foam pieces were put together so I recommend putting a black ribbon right over that like in this one. I just went ahead and went crazy with this one and I don't mind the way it looks. And that one's not in the grooves, it's kind of all over the place. So here I am now literally use a real pumpkin stem and I'm just going to hot glue that one in place. This one I'm going to reuse the stem it came with. I'm going to add some greenery, so I'm going to put some um, leaves in this one here. Just pop that down right over the toothpick that's already embedded into this, the top of it. And then I cut two pieces of jute twine and I'm just hot gluing that down to kind of give that vine effect. I really liked the way this one turned out. Leave a comment below letting me know which one was your guys' favorite. For this project, we're going to need some wooden plaques. You can get a pack of four of these from Hobby Lobby for $2.99, and you can use a coupon. You're also going to need some Mod Podge and some cheap black paint. First, after you chose what plaque you're going to use, we're going to print out some images. So just get on Google, and we're going to go Google like something like clip art, spiders, or clip art bugs or something like that or beetles or flies whatever you want to print out to put on your plaque So this image right here, I liked it, but there was a few watermarks. We can't really use that. We don't want the watermarks showing up in our project. So just find one that's a solid color or um, something very simple like this one here. This would be a good one. So we're going to go ahead and just choose one of these here. And this will be really easy. After we chose our image, we're then going to put Mod Podge on the front of it and then Put it down face down onto the plaque then we're going to smooth out this picture make sure it's completely smooth here like this this is just a demonstration i'm not actually doing it and then once this is fully dry for 24 hours we're going to just take the paper that's actually on top here it should be all dry and ready to go we're going to wet it down and then we'll not with the mod podge with water sorry and we'll just 
rub off everywhere. Just rub all the paper off until there's no more paper, but don't rub too hard. You don't want to rub the ink off the wood. We're basically just creating an ink to wood transfer. After you've rubbed it off, then you can paint another layer of Mod Podge straight over this. After that's dried and you added a little bit of black paint, you have beautiful pieces to display. For this project, I got two placemats, um, the fabric ones in the Halloween section at Dollar Tree. I chose the front side and then also at the back side of the other one and I just sewed them together. I used a sewing machine. If you don't know how, you can always use a hot glue gun. And then I stuffed it with polyfill that I got at Hobby Lobby for $3.99 plus a coupon. So it was a really good deal and I was able to stuff this whole thing and then had some left over. So right here I'm just showing you like I in the middle right here you want to stop sewing. That way you're able to stuff it, get it stuffed, and then you can sew that little piece right back up in the middle here. I found a couple other different fabrics on clearance. Um, at Hobby Lobby and here was one of them. This was only like a couple dollars and I got enough to make two of these little pillows. I did the same thing but this one I actually flipped inside out and then I left a big enough hole where I was able to stick my hand down inside there and stuff it, it full. I went ahead and just started with the corners, every corner first, and then I did the back section where I was not able to reach and then worked my way forward where I was able to reach more, if that makes any sense. So yeah, these, and then just sew this piece right back up and you have a really cute pillow to put on display. Leave me a comment telling me which project was your favorite one. I think mine were the pillows, they were super cute. Don't forget to like my video if you liked it, subscribe and hit that notification bell. See you next time guys.